We're glad you've decided to use Interface Carpet Tiles for your new floor. Over the next few minutes, we'll show you how to install carpet tiles with our Glassback, Glassback RE, Graflar, and Graflex backing systems using our patented Tac Tiles connectors. For information on how to install our modular tiles with full spread adhesive, please see the Installing LVT and Carpet Tile with Adhesive video. Surface preparation comes first and is different depending on the type of subfloor you have. Refer to your installation guide for details. And watch the Before You Install video, which also includes tips on how to measure and create chalk lines. Interfaces Glassback, Glassback RE, Graflar and Graflex backings can be installed with Tactiles connectors. These 3 inch by 3 inch pieces of plastic film have adhesive on only one side. We'll show you what a difference that makes as soon as we establish what other tools you'll need. They're probably already in your toolbox. You'll need a carpet knife and some replaceable blades, a tape measure, a 24 inch carpenter square or other straight edge, and if you're installing wall to wall, you'll need a chalk line. Of course, you'll need a supply of interface carpet tiles and tactiles connectors. When you use tactiles, you can install over nearly any hard surface flooring, but not over carpet. Become familiar with the approved installation method for the interface product that you've selected. The box label shows the recommended installation methods for the interface carpet tile you're installing, while the installation guide describes how to implement the recommended installation methods depending on the tile format, square or skinny planks. Because skinny planks are our most popular size, we're going to focus on how to install these versatile tiles. This one is herringbone, created by laying planks in an L pattern. To create this ashlar pattern, Offset the side joints of the tiles. For variation and lower waste, we recommend a variable drop ashlar for our skinny planks as shown here. But our products can also be installed with a consistent half drop ashlar. Before you start, inspect the carpet tiles and make sure you have enough for the project. Now, let's install the ashlar pattern. Lay out a row of tiles on either side of your vertical chalk line slightly offsetting the carpet tiles on one side by a few inches. You can vary the offset for each row as we're doing it here, or make the rows consistent by placing the plank at half its length. These are your anchor rows. They make it easy to see how your tiles will fall around the center marks. When you're satisfied with your anchor rows, start fastening them together with tack tiles connectors. Place one at every tile joint. You want them evenly spaced, making sure that every tile is touching the connector. These alignment markings are a big help. See? They've been created a little bit bigger than necessary to allow room for error. This means that you don't have to worry about placing the tactiles connectors exactly halfway across an intersection. You can miss the mark by up to half an inch and still have a secure connection. Knowing this should help your work move faster. When laying tiles, don't slide them across the tack tiles connectors. That causes corners to bend under. Instead, brush the carpet pile back with one hand, then tip a corner into place. Once the corner is properly aligned, positioning the rest of the tile is easy. Be certain to place a tack tiles connector at every intersection, just as it's shown in your installation guide. When you get to the edges of the room, you'll most likely need to cut tiles down to a size that fits. Here's the easy way. Slip a tile face down underneath the last tile in the row. Using the edge of the last full tile in the row as a guide, mark a notch at either end of the tile to be cut. Turn the tile face down to cut on its back. Using your carpenter square or straight edge, Cut between the two notches that you mark. Make several light passes with your knife. You'll get an easier and more accurate cut. You need a tack tiles connector under every cut tile and its adjoining tile. Also, place them at every joint around the perimeter. For added security, or if there is difficulty in cutting tight to the wall, consider a roller width of glue along the perimeter. If you need to move a tile during installation, you don't need to use new connectors. 
The adhesive on tactile's connectors strengthens gradually over time. So once tiles have been set, they are virtually unmovable horizontally and will not separate or curl up. Wall-to-wall -wall good looks. That's what you get with tactiles. Tactiles connectors make removal and replacement easy because they release only vertically. Just lift the center of the tile, slide your hand toward the corner, and peel the carpet tile from the tactiles connectors. Also, you may use a carpet or utility knife to cut tactiles at the seam. If you do, slide new tactiles under the joints, recreating the original installation pattern, and lay down the replacement tile. To remove a room full of carpet tiles, use a carpet or utility knife. Cut through the tactiles to create strips that can be folded or to create smaller sections that are easy to carry. For smaller rooms, just roll up sections of the carpet installation and carry it out. Oh, and tactiles can be recycled along with our backing. Interested in sending carpet back to us for recycling? Just contact your local Interface rep or visit interface.com slash reentry and complete the form to get started. Interface carpet tiles, flexible, durable, and installation is easy. Thanks to our patented tactiles connectors, you get the strength and performance of a spread adhesive without the odor, fumes, or mess, not to mention no future floor prep. There's additional information in your installation guide. And if you have further questions, visit the Interface website or call customer care.